Arts Network at Duke, or HAND program, has been bringing the arts to patients, staff, and visitors at Duke University Medical Center for almost 30 years. Now, in addition to its roster of professional artists, HAND has begun a new program that brings student performers to patient bedsides. These talented students play for patients in the cardiology and oncology wards at Duke Hospital. We joined HAND director Linda Bellens for one of their first bedside concerts. We're bringing two students for their first time, and we want to see how that works and how they walk in and interact with patients and play. This is a Mozart's Concerto in G, okay. G major. Hand Performing Arts Coordinator Joy Javits says the students who have volunteered for the program are eager to share their talents. I have an engineering student who's a ballet dancer. I have a um, biochemist who's a trumpet player, and actually he came with his twin brother. <laughs> The two of them played trumpet. Viviana Santiago, a freshman from Gainesville, Florida, was one of the students who played for patients in their hospital rooms. Well, music's an important part of my life, and I know when I've been through hard times, it always is a sense of hope and escape and joy. Niru Metu, an MD, PhD student from Bethesda, Maryland, also played flute solos and joined Santiago for duets. Hospitals aren't very, they're great places to heal, but they're not great places for your spirit to heal. Being able to play music for people will give people a chance to maybe emotionally heal as well as physically. As the students played, doors along the hallway opened as more patients wanted to listen. Oncology nurse Nikki Brooksbank says music changes the mood of the entire ward. It's been so beneficial to our floor. Even for the staff, it's nice to listen to in the afternoon. It's just got a calming influence. Nice peace just kind of comes over the floor a little bit. You know? Of course, a hospital stay is a difficult time for patients and their families. And for many of them, music is a welcome way to raise their spirits. Makes you forget that you're in the hospital. Y'all continue that beautiful music. That's heavenly music there. The music has made by that. Yeah, I feel a little more uplift. It was very pretty. She said that she knows Ave Maria. Does that speak to you? Oh, man, that's my mother's favorite song. For one patient, the melodies evoked memories of his own daughter's childhood childhood flute playing long ago. She used to climb up a tree and I'd walk around and I'd hear this music floating. Takes me back. For hand director Linda Bellens, the new program, which is funded by the Mary Duke Biddle Foundation, is one more way the arts can help promote healing by brightening the lives of those who are sick and those who care for them. We have so many talented students and we want to give them the opportunity to bring their musical and dance gifts to patients who are really critically ill, many of them. We know from doing this on a regular basis with professional musicians and dancers that this makes a difference. 